Hello again everyone and welcome back to my series of iconic structures of the world. Well today the iconic structure is actually in my own home country of Scotland and it is the Kelpies. Magnificent equine sculpture, in fact the largest equine sculpture in the world at 30 metres tall, uh, designed by Andy Scott. And uh, they are two horses heads, gigantic horses heads, one is looking down, the first one on the left here which I'm going to draw is looking down whereas the other one is rearing back and looking up. So you get the front of the horse's head coming down here like that and to draw the rough shape for you come in and they're constructed of thousands of metal plates all bolted together really quite magnificent. On the top of the, the head here the mane is represented as if it's kind of spiky and sticking up like that, almost like the water creatures. It's impressive the heavy horses of Scotland that worked on the canals and so on, uh, but it also ties in with the folklore of Scotland, the river creature of the Kelpies. And we have the mane coming down behind here. I'll just quickly draw in the back of the, the horse coming down there, and the mane comes in here again, constructed of and great plates, steel plates coming down like that. And then the eye will come in, let's see, uh, here. Other one over there. Like that. Okay. The nostril. There. And then the way it sits in the landscape, you have these kind of curves, which sort of a bit like the lines of water, you can imagine the head reading up out of the water. Okay, so the next one comes in here looking up the way. The ear kind of stretching out like that. In the front of its head. And this one is crying out. You can see its mouth open like that. Going back like that, and the other side of its underside of its head there, and then the arched back of its neck coming in like that again with the kind of main shapes coming in there, and then the front coming in like that. Okay, with the nostril appearing in there. So there you can see the very artistic looking shapes of both kelpies. Now, as I said, the uh, construction of the Kelpies is uh, of thousands of uh, metal plates bolted together and you see the lines of them appearing kind of like that, broken lines coming across the way, like that, all the way up. I'm just putting these in very roughly just now, these kind of interlocking shapes, almost like a jigsaw shapes, and they come up, slope round. And they also come down the front of the head here, curving around there, all the way down. Putting these in very quickly, give you an idea. And here too, you get these lines coming across like that. And coming down here, okay, and going up. And following the kind of muscle of the neck there and also there's one here coming down and a big shadow coming down there and these lines on this one cut across that way start to slope up slightly as you go up towards the head and you still have these lines coming down lots and lots of lines The lines are not all continuous, they kind of start and stop all the way down. And you also see little shapes, little holes appearing like that. That gives the quality of the thing. Okay, well this is done very roughly. What I'm going to do now is get a pen and start to, to draw it in properly. Okay. okay, I'll start the inking in by using a slightly heavier pen for the outline. And uh, start with the, the main shape coming in here. And say it's created these great steel plates that come up like that there's the edge coming down sloping towards the 
top and then this one comes up looks up like that and the ear will come in there that kind of shape and then we have the plates which are constructing the mane as they come down like that even though they're made of plates of steel it's very graceful the whole effect of the interlocking parts that slopes down like that then come around the other side of the head comes down and then slopes out towards the eye shape there and then there's a curve that comes in there like that and the front of the head comes down there and slopes out and round again you get a slight mouth shape coming in there as well And out and the muscle of the head there and up and then we get the eye shape and doubled up there like that and the other ear coming in there and I did this one The ear stretching back the way, come round. Just little bits of the main and that one appearing, and the nice kind of curve, like that. And this eye here, and the nostril flaring there. mouth open and that line coming under there the kind of cheek shape almost and then the, on the opposite side another kind of shape coming in there like that and the neck starting between them here and they curve down like that and then I'll draw in these shapes of the landscape round about to get the sensation of water like that and the other part of that horse comes in here okay so I'm going to get a smaller pen now and start to put in some of the details okay now I put in this nostril in first here like that the other one come in here Right, now, the shapes of the metal panels, as I said, they kind of more or less follow the line all the way down like that, but put them in lightly, you don't want to spoil the effect of the shape too much, but of course that's part of the, the look of the, the Kelpies, the fact that they're so industrially designed like that. You get these kind of slightly jagged shapes again following the shape of the horse's head around that section there just break up these lines as you come down don't let them too connected like that come around here and down to the bottom and these as well I'm going to put more of these in and also put some other line going across the way like that. See, it look almost like a jigsaw shapes following these guidelines that are put in. Same here. All right? Like that. And these are the main ones coming across the way. 
like that coming around and of course the other one's going the opposite way like that going up and then following round the shape of the horse's head. So you can see what I'm doing with that, just following the shapes of the actual sculpture itself, but breaking up the lines. I'm going to do that, fill all those in. Uh, it'll take me quite a few minutes to do it, so what I'm going to do is I'll do that and I'll, you can catch up with me when I'm finished. Okay. Okay, I'm just finishing the, putting in these little lines here on the way down. And then after that, I'll take the heavier pen and put in some of the, the darker parts of the structure which uh, give it its character. Um, on the surface here, it's not just these uh, small interconnecting plates, but you see there are gaps. And they look a bit like... Uh, might find it like shapes you might find on a computer board, you know? That's what makes it look quite modern as well. Look at these lines coming down. Slightly zigzag some of them. One coming down like that. And here. Along the bottom there are ones as well. Like that. You can actually look at the uh, kelpies themselves and find them online, no problem. And uh, you'll see where these shapes appear. But at the moment what I'm doing is just putting them in just to suggest where they'll be. You know, there's more of an artistic impression rather than a a pretty faithful rendition. Give you the feeling of it. Dark in there. Okay, so I'm going to continue to put some more of these shapes in. You know, they kind of follow the line of, again with the horse on the way down and the change, so anyway you can be quite creative by the shapes you put in. Keep them fairly angular, mind you. Don't do any kind of round shapes or anything like that. Okay? So I'll continue doing that and see you again in a second. Okay, I'm just uh, finishing off doing these darker shapes now. It's more in there. And in the open mouth here, the beauty of uh, these sculptures is that, of course, you can see the light through them. So the construction here, the actual bits of metal are solid light at that, but you can actually see the light through them. Something like that. Okay. This bit of the eye will be dark in there. And a bit more there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to make it a bit more three-dimensional by getting a 6B pencil and shading in some of the, uh, the shapes. Okay. Okay, I have a 6B pencil now and I'm going to imagine the light coming in from this side. So we'll start with the main here. This part I'll be fairly dark. Top will catch the light. A bit less shading in that bit. Inside of the ear will be dark there. And then some decent dark shading down these sides of the, the mane coming in there like that. And then of course down this side of the neck as well. And putting some pressure on the pencil when you want it dark and then taking it off like that. Okay. Uh, and then of course that uh, shape comes in and out like that, so you get some shading in this bit here. It's coming from above the eye there and down, so shade that bit in. And there, like that. And then indentation around the eye, you get a nice bit of dark shading in here. Like that. Okay. A bit down the centre on the horse's head there. This is a very dark in this part. And as it comes up on the side, and shading in here. I 
think actually the light's more coming down from the center this way like that rather than from in the left more central now under here you get the like the cheekbone shape of the horse's head deeply in shadow coming in there like that see that and down there this is the modeling of the horse's head starting to look quite dramatic muscle shading there's a kind of muscle indentation of the sculpture coming down here like that and then on this side some deep shading a lot of it caused by this like that okay and a bit more around here I think need that nostril light and central line coming down there mm, that's quite good and then another horse that shading in there underneath the lip here is all shaded curves up like that and really dark under here and they come around and also there's a kind of cheek shape there which you could shade in like that and then some shading around the no flaring nostril here okay in the back of that and then down that's with this one down the left hand side of the horse's head heavy when you want it dark lighter like that when you want it lighter and then this side And then the muscle shape again, indentation of the sculpture it takes a bit of shadow in here. That acts goes up more to there, I think, bringing that into there. Much more of a curved shape, that's better. Into there. Excellent. Well, there is. Nice the atmospheric drawing of the Kelpies for you. And I hope if you're ever in Scotland you can go and visit them because they're quite amazing. <laughs> I'm very proud of them here in Scotland. Okay, so that's great. I'll leave it there and uh, hope to see you next time I'll draw another iconic structure for you. But uh, oh, before I go, I think I'll just shade in this eye a bit. There we are. That's right, that's better. And this one too, slightly darker. Excellent. Right. Great. So, all the best and happy drawing. <laughs>